Because I like talking. Alrighty. <laughs> Here's some bus bars I built for power distribution in my camera here. So we've got ground on the left here, positive on the right. Um, this is just common power here, so I can fuse everything. So I'll grab some fuses. Show you here. So just slide the fuse under the washer. Yeah. And there it goes. I can put my ring terminal on underneath this washer. And then I can have easy access to the fuse to remove it if it blows or if I need to disconnect it. And then I've got my power rail completely protected. So I can even have my batteries on here so I can have each battery protected. Um, so I've got it offset so I have one up, one down, and so on to make wiring a little bit easier. And then I've got in the back here I've got it mounted to a three quarters piece of wood, but my bolts weren't quite long enough. So I uh, cut it out there with my table saw so it'd be nice and recessed so that nothing can short on the back. And then I've got plenty of reach on my, on my bolts and whatnot. So I might be redoing it sometime there, but for the meantime, this should work great. So that's what I got going so far. Alrighty. I uh, used uh, the rest of my bus bars here to uh, make some bars for my front battery here. So you can see I've got, I'll try and maintain orientation for you guys. And even though vertical sucks, I don't want to flip it horizontal like this and then not know how to flip it later. So it could be a little bit of both there. But I got the bus bar touch touching uh, making good contact on the battery terminal there and uh, so I've got battery terminal and then I've got my grounds here I've got room for obviously two more grounds that I could do whatever size or whatever kind of bolts I want um, and for this negative here it might seem kind of pointless for now because I could have just put these on here which I had before but if I want to remove my battery instead of having to pull this off and then have these three because I've got my little charger on here and then I've got uh, the starter and frame grounds here. Um, I would have had these three wires to keep track of which isn't all that difficult but now I just pull this off and the whole the whole bar comes out. I swap batteries, put it back down, tighten her, she's all good. And Once I have other things on here, more frame grounds, alternator grounds, etc. Um, then it'll be even more, it'll come in even more handy. Um, if I need to jump start somebody, instead of, I mean these battery terminals aren't very big, so I can just clamp it right there and I've got all of this to work with. Alrighty, so on the positive side here, a little sideways shot, I've got um, another four bolts here. So I've got this one bolts directly to the battery, and then I've got um, the starter cable, and then this goes to my fuse box here, so that's the the um, factory wiring harness there. Um, so all of it's fused internally here. Uh, the starter doesn't need a fuse. <laughs> It'll just burn itself out. It's fine. Um, then I've got my alternator. Let's see, it goes over there. I've got my alternator coming in here through 250 amp fuse, which is more than I need right now. I think I got my stock 80 amp. Um, but when I upgrade that in the future, I'll have plenty of ability to fuse it at whatever I need. Um, so this is fine temporarily, uh, even though it's a bit more than I need. Um, and then I've got on my fourth post here, I've got my charger, because I forgot to put it on the first one, but it doesn't really matter. I've got my charger, and then I've got the odd gauge that goes to my other fuse racks. And this wire just, I had a battery in here temporarily, so I didn't lose my radio settings. Um, so I've got this here. I can I could replace this if I uh, if I took out my breakers here and just went straight from the front to the back, um, I could either not fuse it or I've got this post here so I can go out this way and fuse it or go out here and fuse it or whatever so I can fuse off this post um, so I can keep things protected. But in the meantime, I've got my one and a half amp charger. You can 
see right here my one and a half amp charger and then cable that goes to my breakers that I've got here um, so that's what I've got done on the front end here in cool little trick well, I guess it's not really cool but if you're working with aluminum here um, if you hit it with some uh, quad ot stain or quad ot steel wool it gets really shiny and it looks and feels absolutely amazing like think brand new iPhone feel um, that's brushed aluminum uh, so that's that's what I got there for bus bars so I hope you guys enjoyed and maybe got some ideas from it. So thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.